Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. This is Mr. Kraus with another how-to video for essay writing here. Um, uh, just a couple of things to note. Uh, I'll be referencing something called CQT. That's a format famous at Downey High School for expository writing. Context for a quote and then a tie-in, which is the classic literary analysis in essay writing. So let's get started without any further ado. What in the heck are parenthetical citations? Those are some polysyllabic words. Let's break those down. Parentheticals, parentheses, citation is citing or giving a reference to the information's original source. Parenthetical, parentheses, citations. You do this in your essays. You do this in the middle of your writing. Well, what is it? Well, it's like I just said, it's acknowledging that whatever information you found came from somewhere else. It's not yours, right? If it's not yours, it's okay. It's good. That's fantastic. You're joining an age-long conversation, and there are some good ideas out there before you arrived. So give credit where credit is due. If you don't give credit, yikes, that means you are taking you are taking and taking again. You are stealing. You are taking somebody else's words, ideas, and you are taking credit for them. That's a shame, right? Especially in a service-based economy, it's really important that we avoid stealing other people's ideas. So when you give credit, when you take somebody's exact words, that's kind of obvious. You do that a lot, especially early in the year. With Mr. Krauss, maybe uh, as soon as August, because we start school that early these days, September, and now and into October. Hopefully you grow as a writer, though. So first and foremost in this presentation, um, you give quotes, when uh, uh, parenthetical citations when you copy exact words. If you summarize original ideas or facts from a source, you should give credit. You should give credit. By the way, if I go too fast, feel free to pause. Feel free to rewind. Uh, and on that side note, if you haven't seen this in other videos, if you take notes and show me notes from a video, I'll throw you some extra credit for being a good student. Last but not least, you'll find some really good ideas, and the phrasing is awkward. So maybe you just want to restate it in your own words. Um, but again, it's an original idea. Just give credit where credit is due. So how do you create? Whoops, I got ahead of myself. You don't have to cite a reference if it's well known. If it's obvious right if it's obvious oh there's an interesting one dictionaries that's a photo bomb by the one and only eric munoz so the most common type of citation again in august september and maybe in october this is what we're doing right if you look at the screen here the author's last name occurs inside of the parentheses his last name must be skeleton and he must have given this information on page four of his text must have some other things to note here in the parenthetical citation. There's nothing else inside the parentheses. Not a zip zilch. Just author's last name, space, and the number of the page. Inside of the parentheses. Outside of the parentheses, you'll see there's only one period. And they usually go at the end of the sentence. So that's where it is here. And, of course, quote marks around somebody else's words. Let's take a look at this. In 1900, the worst hurricane in the United States history hit Galveston, Texas. Someplace in the south. I don't know. Quote, unquote, a storm surge almost two stories high broke over the city, causing 20-foot floods, more than 8,000 deaths. There's my citation there at the end. As you grow as a writer in Mr. Cross's class, if you take a look at this next example, if you mention the author in the context, good job. That's not a bad thing. But that means you've already mentioned it, so you don't need to put it in the parenthetical citation. Here's an example of this, something you should do as a writer as soon as you can, um, but it will become a mandate in somewhere around October. In Hurricane Force, that's a book because I underlined it, Michael Miles explains, that's the author, Michael Miles, Michael Miles explains that cool air draws heat and moisture from warm bodies of water to form a storm. Did not tell you what page number that is, so I gave it as a parenthetical citation. It must have occurred in Michael Miles' book, Hurricane Force, on page 22. All right? Since I didn't quote it, I must be paraphrasing his original words. But I still have to give credit where credit is due. 
Make sure, just to wrap this up, use parenthetical citations, only one period. And it goes to the very end of the sentence. Make sure you use parenthetical citations when you quote, which is direct copy of words, when you summarize original ideas, or when you paraphrase original ideas. Thanks for watching. It's been a short video by Mr. Cross, and I look forward to seeing you on the next school day. Have a good one.